New York Central Park, with over 25 million visitors a year, was looking to engage a younger, more wired audience. To position the park as a leader in park events and outdoor activities, we planned a next generation event that would turn the park into an interactive board game in an idea called the World Park. Traditional, interactive, and social media drove awareness to the landmark event. Interactive print ads directed people to use their mobile devices to unlock the iconic history of the park, just as they would at the World Park event. Each ad previewed the rich trivia content found at the event, with answers that streamed famous movie scenes, singing trees, photographs, and facts. Everything drove to the World Park mobile site and Facebook page. There, discussions and event hype played out through Central Park animal avatars. Our main character, Mr. Park Squirrel, drove discussions around the event and eventually became Commissioner of the World Park. On Arbor Day 2010, the World Park officially opened to the public. Visitors got to experience a new, technologically advanced Central Park. What made this event so original is how we turned this landmark into an outdoor mobile museum. The rich paths of the park was presented through categories like history, pop culture, art and music, and science and geology. This wasn't like your typical park tour. We used mobile technology which motivated and engaged people every step of the way. We invented a new type of park signage represented by a digital tree barcode that allows visitors to scan and connect to content based on their exact location. These codes are called park codes. This one asks a trivia question about sex and the city, then delivers a video answer of that famous movie scene filmed right under your feet. Others let you see photographs of the original Gapstall Bridge, discover that the rocks you're standing on are actually one million years old, even enjoy bike riding lessons from Dustin Hoffman, or listen to the orchestra without the orchestra. More than 50 park codes were placed throughout the park, making it the largest mobile QR event ever. People simply jumped in from anywhere by downloading digital maps off of our mobile site and quickly started their own games. Most people played in groups and received guidance from our street teams. And after one year and hours and hours of planning, the idea finally culminated into an event that reinvented the Central Park experience. Not just as a tourist destination, but as a brand unto itself. The idea, the animals, the campaign, and the creative content all came together to become the World Park. So what really is the park experience of tomorrow? Perhaps it's one that lets the park have a voice every step of the way, in a way that motivates us to go deeper into the experience, on a mission to discover something we never knew. And importantly, in a way that engages a new generation of visitors, and how this iconic landmark can present itself in today's marketplace. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next World Park.